Good evening, everyone. How are you doing? Good evening. How are you doing, Silvio? Hello, I'm Ana okay. Cristina. Ah, nice, Silvio. How about you, Ana Cristina? Hello, teacher. <laughs> How are you doing, Daniel? So, so. Okay, Ana. Let's see. Hello, Wendy. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Are you guys all ready? Yes. How was your weekend? Did you have fun? Was it funny? Was it um, tired? ¿Cómo fue su fin de semana? Cansado, divertido. Descansado. Oh, so you rest, you had rest, excellent. Hello, Karina, welcome. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? What can you tell um, us about your weekend? I, uh, I'm tired because uh, the last day I go, I going to La Palma, Chalatenango. Oh, nice. It's a very beautiful mm -hmm. place. Yes, but I, I going to do some, I don't know how do you say, horas sociales. <laughs> Uh, social, social social work or social, social hours construyendo casas y todo eso entonces estaba cansada oh so you're tired but I yes. think very satisfied yes <laughs> nice nice and that's a a good activity that's a good activity yes it is what about the rain with those, uh, I mean, with the con construction, I think the rain uh, is interfering. But uh, yesterday, it is not, not rain. Oh, it didn't rain over there? Okay, nice. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good, good, good. Good. So you had good time. Let's see, Giovanni, Alexander over there. How were you tonight? Giovanni Alexander. Well, I think maybe he is not listening to me, but now we are gonna start guys because it's time already. It's eight and three minutes. So in honor to you the, that show punctuality, we are going to start taking the attendance as always, okay? Now, let me go to the file and I will start at this moment. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejia Alvarez. Astrid Tatiana Jimenez Ramirez. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present teacher. Okay. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Ivan Ernesto Elias. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Kevin Antonio Ramirez Sánchez. Present teacher. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Nancy Yvette 
Cristobal Rivera. Present teacher. Okay. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Present teacher. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Alas. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Ábrego. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Now, antes de comenzar la clase, me gustaría, yo sé que estamos pocos, pero me gustaría escuchar de ustedes eh, hasta el momento, así como hemos hecho en los cursos anteriores, siempre platicamos para ver que todos estemos en sintonía en la clase, ¿verdad? Para ver si la metodología que estamos implementando es eh, de buen uso para ustedes, de utilidad, o si hay cosas que se pueden mejorar, ¿verdad? Porque siempre es necesario de que todos estemos satisfechos dentro de eh, este salón de clases, ¿verdad? Es una nueva plataforma virtual en donde hay muchos aspectos que probablemente vamos adaptando constantemente para poder uh, rendir al máximo y para poder aprovechar todos los recursos y que ustedes sean, eh, eh, que ustedes estén satisfechos de que están adquiriendo los conocimientos que se espera, ¿verdad? O que ustedes esperan adquirir. A ver, quiero escucharlos. ¿Cómo se sienten en la clase? ¿Les gusta la metodología? ¿Hay alguna cosa que podemos mejorar? No tengan miedo ni tengan pena. Acuérdense que siempre les he dado la apertura para eso. Eh, siempre ha habido adaptación, ¿verdad? Tanto adaptación de ustedes como adaptación mía, ¿verdad? ¿Se sienten bien? La verdad es que, que a mí me gusta mucho su metodología, bien dinámica, bien, o sea, toda. Lo que sí le confieso es que a mí me cuesta un montón. Entonces yo trato de, o sea, mira, ahora pongo música en inglés y cosas así como para que se me vaya acostumbrando el oído a entenderlo, pues, porque sinceramente no, o sea, a mí sí me cuesta, pero, o sea, trato de, de ir practicando y todo, pero yo creo que es falta de práctica ahí, pero eso, cómo se explica, o sea, se le entiende, pues, y... y y todo, o sea, yo siento que está bien. Lo único es eso, le digo que porque a mí me cuesta, entonces sí creo que tengo que poner doble esfuerzo a, a lo que aprender más, pues. Ok. Muchas gracias, Wendy, por su opinión. ¿Alguien más, chicos? Eh, en el curso pasado, teacher, también le, le, quizás le hicimos más observaciones que nos costaba un poco más. Pero siento que quizás ya nos vamos acostumbrando a su metodología y igual estamos aprendiendo y nos gusta como, al menos como, lo, como nos da la clase y cómo nos hace esforzarnos también a nosotros. Pienso yo que está, estamos bien. Ok, Ana Cristina, muchas gracias por su opinión. Eh, hola, teacher. Yo quizás, como, como, como soy nuevo, uh -huh. quizás, eh, no, sí, la verdad es que su metodología es muy, muy interactiva y, y es muy, muy amigable al hecho de, de querer practicarlo y, 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 y entrar. Quizás a mí lo que me cuesta o, 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 o a veces me pierdo un poquito es en la explicación de, 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 del subject, o sea, el, el cuando usted lo explica en inglés, se me dificulta más, como decía la compañera, que nos cuesta el escucharlo. 
por ejemplo, lo, lo, de, la, lo de la voz pasiva, no, me costó como entenderlo, porque tras que me cuesta el inglés y entrar en una nueva como estructura, era, me cuesta el inglés y me cuesta entender la estructura, entonces se, se, me, se, me, se me unían las dos cosas, entonces, no sé si quizás hay algunos temas que son como, llamémoslo, son entendibles los, los, los verbos y eso, pero quizás algunas estructuras, no sé, a mi punto de vista, tal vez un poquito más de español en el contexto de cuándo es que se usa, cuando entra usted a la estructura, esto es por esto y esto es por esto otro, porque se me complica más entenderlo en inglés y entender la situación o la estructura de, del por qué se utiliza esa, esa forma o ese, eh, a qué es aplicable. Pero realmente... Eh, sí me gusta bastante la manera en cómo interactúa, cómo usa ejemplos y cómo usa temas prácticos. La verdad que sí me, me ha gustado bastante el, el tema y sobre todo le, le, el, el, no se sienten pues las dos horas. Eso sí, eh, a pesar de que uno esté cansado de las horas de trabajo, pero realmente las dos horas, yo cuando me metí al curso, dos horas va a ser muy largo, pero realmente se sienten bien rápido eh, por la forma en que usted lleva el curso. Esa okay. sería mi, mi opinión. Muchas gracias, Silvio, por su opinión. Vamos a escuchar una opinión más en este momento y mañana eh, también vamos a hacer un poquito esta actividad para que podamos eh, expresarnos. Así que veamos la última opinión. Hello, teacher. Buenas noches. Hi, Nancy. How are you oh, tonight? Good evening. Oh, fine. Eh, lo siento, venía, venía de camino. Eh, bueno, en mi caso, vea, me gustaría comentarle que es la, el segundo módulo que estoy con usted y he sentido mejoría, ¿verdad? Lo único que quizás me apego a la primera opinión, opinión ¿verdad? porque a mí sí me falta práctica, quizás por el tiempo que tengo, que es bien, es bien poco, pero sin embargo, ahora que escucho algunas, eh, que hasta música en inglés estoy tratando de escuchar, vea, o sea, ahora sí sé diferenciar varias cositas, vea. Pero creo que eso depende quizás del proceso de cada persona, ¿verdad? de cómo sea su proceso de aprendizaje, pero el curso en realidad es de bastante ayuda y su metodología es bastante buena. Así es que me siento totalmente satisfecha con el curso. Ok, gracias. Bueno, muchas gracias Nancy por su opinión. Muy bien, seguimos entonces en nuestra clase. Yo eh, quiero nada más manifestarles que dentro de mis lineamientos, con, por Uh, parte de Insafort como facilitadora, eh, me exigen una clase 100% en inglés. Okay. Yo no debiera utilizar eh, nada de español. <ríe> Yo sé que en eh, nuestro medio, más que ya estamos en áreas profesionales, es un poquito a veces complicado llegar al al meollo del asunto, si no me dan una luz con una palabra en español y ya con una luz, en una palabra en español, ¡fum! Mi mundo cambia y ya entendí, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso es que en muchas ocasiones les he facilitado el español. Sin embargo, pues yo también tengo mi lineamiento por parte de Insaforp a una clase 100% en inglés. Ahora bien, eh, vamos adaptándonos a cada... Eh, proceso de aprendizaje, porque realmente el proceso de aprendizaje es individual, ¿verdad? El proceso de enseñanza, por lo tanto, se individualiza acá, se trata de, de individualizar un poco. Eh, les quiero nada más explicar un poquito acerca de nuestra metodología. Nuestra metodología es, primero, nosotros damos el tema. ¿verdad? Y yo creo que a lo notar, damos el tema, damos el objetivo a lo que queremos que ustedes aprendan o lo que en nuestro programa está para que ustedes aprendan. Eh, luego hacemos la explicación muy breve. Primero un diálogo en donde ustedes eh, conocen las estructuras de entrada en cómo se utilizan, ¿verdad? Luego nosotros explicamos el uso podríamos llamar gramática, gramatical, pero no nos centramos en eh, esa parte, nos centramos en la parte de hablar o de aplicarlo. Entonces, luego ustedes practican 
este, la, que es lo que hemos hecho, se van a los breakout rooms o aquí mismo estamos practicando, ¿verdad? Uno a uno, en parejas, uno por uno, todos juntos y dependiendo de cómo vamos, eh, yo los voy escuchando, ustedes van preguntando y ahí se va desarrollando hasta llegar hasta que ustedes producen su propio lenguaje o producen en su propio mundo, en su entorno, ustedes producen y es cuando ustedes presentan un producto. Por ejemplo, eh, podríamos hablar de la exposición, que sería el producto que ustedes presentaron, ¿verdad? Una misión, una visión y eh, los valores, eh, sus responsabilidades. Esto es nada más a manera de ubicarnos, ¿verdad? Primero damos el tema, luego lo eh, vemos en acción cómo funciona, luego explicamos las estructuras, luego las practicamos y después las producimos, ¿verdad? Esa es la metodología y todo esto es a través de tareas. De tareas me refiero a actividades. Por ejemplo, podemos hacer actividades como las que hacemos juntos, actividades las que tenemos en el manual, actividades de discusión en la plataforma y tenemos las tareas que son para un refuerzo del conocimiento, ¿verdad? Entonces, en todos los métodos de consulta que ustedes tienen, ustedes también pueden accesar al maestro para resolver sus dudas, ¿ok? Espero que hasta ahí estemos entendidos un poquito de cómo INSAFOR requiere que el facilitador les dé a, o maneje la clase, ¿verdad? Para que nos pongamos en sintonía, ¿verdad? Esto es para que estemos en sintonía y todos estemos entendidos en lo que estamos haciendo. Ok, muchas gracias entonces por haberme atendido a mi explicación y gracias por sus opiniones. Ahora vamos a pasar a nuestra clase del día de hoy. Let me share the screen with you. Let me share the screen with you because tonight huh, we finished unit one, guys. Oh, that's very impressive. So um, we are going to start with our second, with our second unit, second unit. Okay, here we are. Lo voy a compartir de otra manera para que no me agarre todo el programa y ustedes puedan enfocarse en solo el slide. Miran el slide. Si ¿Sí se mira. Yeah. Ok, gracias. Now let's see here. This is kind of a map of the four, four units for this module three. Company identity was unit one, and now we go to socializing socializing this is a unit that where we are going to start uh coming up with ideas okay with ideas and we are going to talk about um let me show you here let me go to the ob objective for this uh class and for all this unit Students will be able to use information about the company's expertise, industrial classification, and where it operates. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a ver en esta unidad? Y precisamente comenzando desde esta clase, vamos a usar la información acerca de la experticia de nuestra compañía, de lo que se dedica, ¿verdad? De la especialidad de nuestra compañía. Ya aprendimos en la unidad a expresar cómo es conocida nuestra compañía. Um, what is our company known for? Y vamos a aprender vocabulario para hablar de la clasificación industrial. Ok. 
okay. de diferentes compañías, los diferentes campos para ubicarnos en el vocabulario and how to use it y cómo utilizarlo. And also where it operates. Vamos a hablar de, de cómo decir en dónde opera nuestra compañía, ¿verdad? Las, las locaciones. Now let's see our agenda for today's class. We are going to do a feedback exercise. We are going to practice a dialogue. And then you are going to um, solve some written exercises in your manuals. You are going to do a reading exercise because you are going to Google some things tonight. And then we are going to the breakout rooms. We are going to go to the breakout rooms also to practice the dialogue. And then we are going to um, the breakout rooms for this reading exercise and this kind of Googling right now. We have that verb, the new verb, Googling. <laughs> Ahora hasta podemos eh, conjugar el verbo Google, ¿verdad? <laughs> Googlear in Spanish. So in English, it could be Googling. <laughs> okay, this is new, this is new. So now let's go to our manuals. Let's go to our manuals because there we have some things. Tenemos dos preguntas en el manual para comenzar. Pero primero en nuestra agenda tenemos nuestro feedback exercise. ¿Se recuerdan? El ejercicio que les envié, do you remember the exercise that I sent? Hicieron el ejercicio acerca de los departamentos y las responsabilidades. Déjenme llegar a él, por favor. ¿No lo hicimos? ¿No lo hicieron? Yo sí lo hice. I did it. I did it. <laughs> ok, let's see. Let me go there. I'm going to share the screen with you too. And let's see it. Now, do you remember this? Did you open the file I sent through WhatsApp? Okay, hagamos este pequeño ejercicio para que nos ubiquemos en cómo describimos la responsabilidad de nuestra eh, área o de nuestro puesto de trabajo or what I, I am responsible for and what are that department responsible for or accountable for. En este caso, recordamos que la frase es responsible for, accountable for, in charge of. Y luego de eso utilizamos un verbo con ing para decir a lo que, o la, la responsabilidad, ¿verdad? De que está encargado, de que es responsable, para qué está, para qué es útil, ¿verdad? Ese departamento. Se oye cortado, chicos. No. No, señores, no se oye cortado. Todo ok. Ok, thank you very much. Good teacher. Es que mi máquina está diciendo que mi conexión de internet es inestable, pero quería saber, confirmar. Let's read. Let's read. Let's read this. Definitions or descriptions of responsibilities. This, the ones in the black letter. Let's read this one is responsible for informing the customers and selling the goods to them. What department do you think is responsible for that action? 
sales department. Great. Sales department. I'm going to take this box over here and let's take sales department too much. There you are. Now let's read this one. Is in charge of keeping the books to find out the company's profit or loss. What do you think? Accounts department. Okay, great. Accounts department. Este departamento puede ser incluso un subdepartamento de accounting department or the finance department. ¿verdad? Accounts department, accounting department or finance department. Hay otros nombres para un departamento que se encarga de las finanzas y de llevar los records o los libros, ¿verdad? Next one, is responsible for recruiting and training the right people with the required skills. Human resource. Excellent. Here we are. Now let's see. What is the purchasing department in charge of? Well, in this case, it's defined by accountable for. What is the purchasing department accountable for? It's accountable for comparing price in the market to buy the materials or products the company sells. Thank you. So you see, this goes with the purchasing department. Thank you very much, Karina. Now let's see. What is the management in charge of? What is the management in charge of? Is the head of the company in charge of running it? Okay, thank you very much. Here we are. Now we have one definition, but we don't know what department is in charge or responsible for manufacturing the products. What is that department? What is the department responsible for manufacturing the products? Production. Okay. Production, great. So we are taking this over here and let's write production. Por ahí les envié el archivo de esto, ¿verdad? Para que lo tengan y ustedes lo puedan estar haciendo. Now. Aquí en estos tenemos que agregar tres departamentos con sus funciones, ¿ok? Podríamos comenzar pensando. Let's think about three more departments in the company and let's think what are they responsible for. Let's think what are their responsibilities. This is just for feedback, okay? This is just for feedback. Let's remember. Let's see, Linda. Uh, 
um, marketing department. Okay, great. Marketing. Marketing department. What is the marketing department in charge of? Uh, I think it's in charge of promoting the business product mm -hmm. or service. Okay. And monitoring and managing social media. Excellent. It's in charge of promoting the company, right? And its yes. products. When we talk about the company and the products, we are talking about the business, okay? We can say is in charge of promoting the business, right? Because it includes the company and it includes also the products that they make, okay? Now let's think about another department. Uh, let's see here, let me. Who wants to participate with another department? Or do you want me to say the name? Tech Daniel? Support. Oh, I'm sorry? Tech support. Thank you very much. Now let me see. Was it Kevin Daniel who said so? Mm -hmm. Okay, tech support. Now, what is tech support responsible for? Uh huh. I'm going to leave this thing here and let me see. Over here. I think it was Kevin. Uh, who said who said tech support? Did you, Giovanni? Financial department. I'm sorry? Financial department. Oh, financial department is another department. Good. But now uh, let's go back and let's define also what is tech support in charge of. Okay. Mm. You say financial okay. department, Kevin. Yes? Uh, it's responsible for maintaining the company equipment. Okay. The tech support, right? Tech support. Yeah. Is in charge? Is in charge. Responsible for. Oh, it's responsible for. Mm -hmm. Is responsible for making the company equipment. The company equipment. Equipment, good. Equipment. Okay, good, good. <coughs> okay, we could say making, repairing, and giving the maintenance, right, of those uh, equipment. Yes. Okay, good, thank you very much. What about the financial department? What is the financial department in charge of? Kevin? Um, is responsible billing for department. oh yes the billing department yes and it's also and it is also related to the financial department right now let's see uh let's listen to kevin's definition is responsible for kevin is responsible for um, man, uh, manejo de la, 
manage. In this case, manage. managing, okay? Because after manage. four, we use ing verb form. Uh huh. Managing. Manage the budget. The... Good, the budget. Thank you very much, Suleyma. The budget. Mm -hmm. Or controlling the budget, for example. And controlling. Very good. And controlling. Uh, we, we could write and controlling after managing, and it will be okay, right? For managing and controlling the budget. Yes. Thank you very much, guys. So this was the exercise we uh, I sent for you to solve it, but now we did it already together here. Is it okay? Are we okay with this or do you have any question? Do you have any question? It's okay. T teacher. Tell me. Eh, Podría este, indicarme como, como que es, está hablando de las organizaciones y los departamentos, cómo van afiliados y lo que hace cada área. Eso es lo que están viendo ahorita, ¿verdad? Yes. Este es el eh, ejercicio que yo les envié para que ustedes vieran cómo se define o, o describir la responsabilidad de cada departamento de la compañía. Porque estábamos viendo, ¿se acuerda quién está encargado de qué? ¿Quién es responsable de qué? So, let's say that in English. Who is in charge of and what are you responsible for? What are you accountable for? And this is the way we use these expressions and also an ING verb form to say it, okay? Now, the relation between departments, la relación entre los departamentos, era el organigrama. Do you remember? Okay. 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 There you Thank are. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Good, good, Suleyma. So now, guys, we are going to start with our class for today, and let's remember the objective. The objective for today it was that we are going to uh, learn. Let me go there to the objective for those who weren't here when we started. Okay, the objective for today is that we are going to use information about the company's expertise, industrial classification, and where it operates. Let's see, what is the information? The company's expertise, industrial classification, and the place where the company is operating. So let me stop sharing and we are going to our manuals because there we have two important questions. Let me go to the... Here we are. For those who weren't in the class when we started, we are starting with Uni 2. Okay, Uni 2. ¿Cómo se llama la unidad 2? What is the topic for Uni 2? Socializing. Socializing. Now, let's see. Do you often attend seminars? Do you go to seminars? Do you go to trainings? Do you attend meetings or conferences in your companies? Yes. Okay. Now, let's see, Linda. Linda, do you often attend seminars? Sorry, teacher. Do you often attend seminars? Seminarios? Yes. Okay. Ana del Carmen, do you often attend seminars? Do you have events where uh, that you attend? Yes. 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 Y
that you attend to? Uh, the, the English or, or other? Uh, other kind of events, for example, <laughs> maybe related with your job, with your um, job the, position. The, the silence. Uh huh. About sales. Uh huh. So, mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. When did you last attend a seminar? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que fueron a un seminario? Let's see. Can someone tell me? Hace como two years. Okay, two years ago. Okay, good, good. And how do you usually break the ice with people there? How do you usually break the ice? Como quiebran o rompe, nosotros en español decimos romper el hielo, right? Break the ice. You see? Break the ice. How do you usually break the ice with the people around? Presentation. Uh -huh. Okay. Like saying your name, right? And usually we ask questions to the other person or maybe we talk about the weather right we talk, it's raining oh it's hot in here right some things like that we break the ice but usually when we start activities in the seminars we have maybe the in the in the breaks we are uh drinking some coffee and we ask uh what company do you work for okay because we we want to know what companies are represented in that seminar. And in these days, los seminarios por la pandemia son diferentes, are different. They are webinars, right? They are webinars. And we are used to just to listen and see visual, visual, most likely, most likely. Mm, en su mayoría, ¿verdad? Es visual y escuchar. Usually we don't have this um, uh, interaction with people in webinars, but in seminars, in the physical thing, yes, we need to have interaction. So now let's go back. Let's go back. Usualmente decimos, and what's your name? My name is Carmen. What is your name? Empezamos, ¿verdad? Así. We start like that. Now let's see these two guys that are in a seminar. They are at a seminar and they are talking. Let's read about Rick and Jack. I'm going to read first this, this conversation and then you are going to practice it with me. You are going to ask the questions about the vocabulary you don't understand. Now let me start. Rick and Jack, okay? My name is Rick, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, I'm Jack. I work for Inex Incorporated. What does Inex Incorporated do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see, does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. I'm going to read it again. My name is Rick, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, I'm Jack. I work for Inex Incorporated. What does Inex Incorporated do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see, does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Now, take 30 seconds and read it. Leámoslo estos 30 segundos.
Okay. Now, do you have any question about the vocabulary in this conversation? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. la, la cuarta oración, la casi la final, cuando dice manufactured. La cuarta oración, la segunda intervención de Jack. Okay, it says... Uh, uh, one, two, three, four. What does the next incorporated do, Jack? No, uh, the second intervention of Jack. We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Yes, as a packaging. Packaging, packaging. packaging. Okay, this is okay. how they uh, put the things or the products together. I mean, uh, for example, bags, boxes, and packaging. Ah, okay, right? thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, now please repeat after me. You can uh, not activate your audio, but I want to see your lips moving. I want to see your lips moving. And then, and then we are going to practice it, uh, uh, I mean, loudly. So let's see. My name is Rick, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Incorporated. Okay. Ven que así yo no puedo eh, definir quién lo está hablando y quién no, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahora, let's activate our audios. Open your mics. Thank you. And I want to hear you. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Okay. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. My name is Nice to meet you too. I work for Inex Incorporated. I work for Inex Incorporated. I work for Inex Incorporated. Okay. Now, what does Inex Incorporated do, Jack? What does Inex Incorporated do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. We Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Does Enex have many branches? Does many branches? Yes, it does. Yes, 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 yes. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. We have, we have three, three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. They are in Panama. Panama. They're in Panama. They're in Panama. 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 Okay, great. Thank you, Astrid. Now, let's see. I want to hear two of you. Let's start with Wendy and Silvio, please. Silvio, Rick, Wendy, Jack. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I am Jack. I work for Inex Incorporated. What does Inex Incorporated do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packing companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturers. 
factory branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Okay, thank you very much. Now, we have to add and continue this conversation with two more questions. So we are going to the breakout rooms and when we split, uh, you have to write these two more questions. Estas son preguntas que ustedes van a agregar a esta conversación que podrían seguir. Okay, two more questions. Now I'm going to split the group into the breakout rooms. You practice the conversation and add two more and add two more questions. More okay, there you are. Did you all receive the invitations? Hola, teacher. Hello. Hello. How teacher. are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm vamos. Okay, nice, <laughs> nice. Okay, I want to hear you practicing. Es para decir en cuánto tiempo llega la caja o no sé. Okay, uh, tratemos de utilizar el vocabulario aprendido en la unidad 1 y van a ver que eh, se le va a facilitar más. Teacher. Okay. Yes, tell me. Este, bueno, disculpa que le diga en español, pero cree que me agrega al grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, fíjese que a usted le tuvieron que haber enviado el, um, el link, porque no podemos agregarlo individualmente. Entonces usted puede hacerlo desde el link que, que le enviaron en el correo. En el correo, pero es que no lo hay, o fíjese. Va, entonces le vamos a enviar el link para que se agregue. Permítame, lo tengo que ir a buscar. Me voy a salir de la sala para poder... Eh, Ay, disculpe hoy. No hay problema, no hay problema. Me voy a salir, o oh, creo que lo tengo acá en el teléfono. Mientras ustedes practican, please practice. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Entonces, Tendríamos que hacer la otra. ¿Qué otras preguntas podríamos seguir en la conversación, verdad? Mm -hmm. Okay. ¿Esa en qué página estaba, perdón? Um, check back. Es en el primer tema de la unidad 2. 19. 19. 19. Yes, okay. 19. Page 19. Uh -huh. Le voy a buscar el... el, el el link, pero aquí en la compu porque en el celular no lo tengo. Y luego yo se lo envío, este, Zule, Zuleima, por favor. Gracias, gracias, okay. teacher. Okay. Bueno, muy amable. Entonces, ya encontré. Entonces, eh, una es la que usted menciona, Wendy. ¿Cuánto tiempo, tiempo, verdad? Mm -hmm. que le acabo de enviar para poder hacer el completo. 
Henry, can you write that? My name is Rick, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. Too. I am Charles. I am work for Inex Incorporated. What does Inex Incorporated do? Yes. We manufacture cardboard boxes for packing company. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes. It does, we have three manufacturing branches in the And where are the headquarters? The, the panel. They are the they they in panel. They work. My name. Le puedo poner como otro dos. ¿Eh? My name is Rick. Nice. Yes. To meet you too. And Jack, I work for Phoenix Incorporated. Teacher, mi inter quizás me sacó. Estaba con Annie. Annie de Álvarez. Estaba con Annie. De, de ahí, eh, aparte de este, ¿qué más? Solo eso, eh, dos preguntas. Ah, dos preguntas. Ah, pues ya están. Ah, hay word. What, what are, what are you, are you work? Sí, está haciendo las clases. Teacher, I have a the... I'm sorry. Yeah, hello, hello. Are... Okay, what was your question, Silvio? No, I, I, I have the uh, answers. And the activity. And... 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 Rick uh, as as ask uh, uh, to Jack. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you? What are you work? I am work in Sigma. It's okay. Oh. Where, there, do where, where do you work? Where do you uh, work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Uh -huh. Where do you work? And the answer is I work at. Tiene nombre. And the second question is or answer is 
What does the company do you work? Mira, y son de dos in this case, you can use the name of the company he said. If you said Sigma, then mm -hmm. um, uh, the other person who uh, I mean, can ask, what does Sigma do? Okay. okay. What does Sigma do? What does mm -hmm. Sigma do? Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm moving to another room. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Hello, Ana Cristina. Hello. Hi. How was the activity? ¿Cómo estuvo la actividad? Difficult. Difficult. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Ok, aquí ustedes podían Ay, usar bueno. cualquier pregunta de la unidad 1 y hubiera quedado perfecta. Ok, any question in unit 1, porque es la idea, utilizar el vocabulario, to use your vocabulary, remember? Ok, for example, what is your company known for? Ah, it is rated in the 10 most, uh, I, what, human <laughs> community. Um, company, whatever, something like that. So let's see. Or the biggest manufacturer in the region. Okay, some things like those. Let's continue. Let's see. Let's look at this conversation. Did you add two questions to the conversation? Yes. Let's here, Ana del Carmen and Astrid. Okay, start from the beginning. Start from the beginning. Empiecen desde arriba y finalizan con sus dos preguntas with your two questions. Ah, eh, el, ¿cómo se llama la conversación? Uh -huh. Yes, please. Permítame que no la tengo a la mano. Page 19. Page 19. Sí. Ahorita. Okay, so. Nineteen. Nineteen. Diecinueve. Mm-hmm. Permítame que la... Me ya la tengo acá en la pantalla. I have it on the ah, screen. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eh, yo es Ritz. Así. My name is Ritz. Ah, nice okay. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Jack. I work for Inex in the company. What does Inex incorporate do you do Jack? We Manufacturing carbon boxes for packing company. Oh, I see. Does Inex how many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? 
they in Panama? Uh, what, what does other countries manufacture? They are in Salvador. Uh, what what uh, in what other place do you have companies? Again, Ana del Carmen, what they was the question? In Salvador. <laughs> Uh, see, it's okay, but tell me what was the question because I couldn't get it. Tell me the question. The second question. No sé si la formulamos bien, pero Let's what, try. Other, what mm -hmm. other place do you have companies? No sé qué. <laughs> okay, that's a very good uh, question because it's almost the same here. Does Inex have many branches? Esa pregunta que usted ah. hizo la hizo con otras palabras, pero eh, en esta... Ajá, branches, eh, son las tiendas. Exactamente. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Then uh -huh. it's better if you change the question to another topic. For example, you could ask, um, if you talk about the places, if you talk about the places, you could say, where in Panama, right? Where in Panama? Uh, for example, that you're going to say uh, in the port, in el puerto, okay, some things like that, okay. in the in a Panama Canal, and uh, so they they can say those kind of answers if you change that question. Porque ya la pregunta está hecha aquí. Does Inex have many branches? Es lo mismo que preguntar where, um, what other places? Uh huh. What other places? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. You did a good job. You did a good job. Now let's stop sharing. And I want to hear uh, Nancy and uh, Nancy, who were you, who were you uh, working with? Con quien trabajo, Nancy? Con Linda, okay, with Linda. Okay, ahora ustedes solo van desde many branches. Para abajo, ok? Hasta sus dos eh, preguntas. Until your two more questions. Mm. Desde. Oh, chair, perdón. Uh, desde. Sería. Permítame. Permítame. Es para no hacerlo tan largo. Desde donde se queda con Jack. La última. Ah. Uh -huh. There in uh -huh. Panama. Okay. Okay. Panama. Okay. Um, do you think expand in other country? Yes, we do. What country? In Rica and El Salvador. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Excellent. And it was really easy. Now, let's see Daniel Thank and you. your partner. Okay, Giovanni and your partner is Daniel, right? Yes. Giovanni and Daniel <laughs> say yes, your partners. Let's see, yes. uh, Ast uh, Astrid did it, Ana Cristina did it. Suleyma and your partner, please. Okay, is Wendy. Wendy. Um, how low the pre product section? Uh, the production? The production. Mm -hmm. how, low, how, how low is production? Yes. 1,000 bucks every three hours. Okay. Uh, if what you... Costume. Okay, let, let me understand that question. You say, how long is your production? Yes. yes. Okay, and you're talking about the amount of the production. I mean, the quantity of products. Yes. Ah, okay. Um, then you have to ask how many 
or how much. Okay. Ah, okay. It how depends. Many, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. How many the production? How many products do you produce? Okay. How many products do you produce? And you can say a different, I mean, um, a period of time. For example, how, um, how many products do you produce a month? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. Y la otra que habíamos puesto es what, no, how do you customer? Uh, who are your customers? Who are your customers? Who? ¿Quién es? O your, your target. Uh -huh. Your target market. Y... Tu mercado meta. ¿O ¿Quiénes son nuestros clientes? Oh, then uh -huh. who are your customers or who are your clients? Sí. Pueden usar who las dos they? palabras. You can yeah. use the two words. There uh -huh. is in Simán. Okay. Super selectos. Okay, nice. Nice. Who are your customers? Who are your customers? Okay. Or Thank who are your clients? Uh, clients. clients. Who are they? Client? No, your. Your, porque le está preguntando directamente de la compañía donde trabaja. Okay. Uh, so, okay. your. Ahí incluye a la persona en la compañía. Ah, uh, okay. okay. Eso teacher. Uh -huh. If you. you say they, you are not including yourself in the company. If we say we, then we are included in the company. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. My pleasure. So now let's see here. We have another participation from Karina. Karina, please with your partner. Teacher, attendance. Thank you very much. I'm going to take the attendance after Karina. Okay, after Karina, I take the attendance. Okay, um, only a question. Yes, please, the two questions. Okay, where is the mission and vision of Ines Incorporator? Okay, so who is your partner? Ana Herrera. Ana Herrera, please answer. Hola. Please answer the questions. Mm, to to white of their country distribute distribute and product distribution the product. Okay, now let's see the vision. Let's look at the vision. Ambition to ambition to have a quality product. Nice, nice. Second question, Karina. Mission yes. to satisfy consumer new. To satisfy a consumer new. New consumers. Sí. Is that correct? Satisfacer, uh -huh. Satisfacer la, la necesidad de los clientes. Oh, okay. To satisfy the necessity of the consumers. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Now I understand. And thank you very much, Anna. Second question, please. In which other countries uh, sell their products? Okay. Yes. In, yes. In, of course, in Central America. Okay, let's let's uh, review. Let's check this question. In which other countries sell their products? Sell their products. Um, I I I want to say this to this to okay. But I don't know. I no, don't no, know. no. It's okay. But the structure, the the grammatical structure over there, we could say what other countries do you sell? Okay. What other countries do you sell your products? Okay. What other countries do you sell your products? What other countries do you sell your products? Okay, great. And uh, now we say in Central America and etc. is the answer that Anna gave us. 
Okay, who else here? Giovanni Alexander Pineda, please, with your partner. Uh, Only the two questions. Is Insa for employees? <laughs> oh, really? But she's not here in. Se me fue. Really? Yes. Is she gone already? A question answer me. Oh, okay. Now I understand. Uh, you had a survey. Okay. ¿Tuviste como una encuesta de parte de ella? Eh, no, no. Me dijo ¿La actividad? Era, ajá, me dijo que era empleada de Insapor y no tenía que estar en el grupo. Oh, ok, ok. Ajá. ¿Y se quedó solito, Giovanni? Ay, solito, only. Oh. Ay, no, Giovanni, me hubiera dicho. Yo estuve revisando y vi, ah, pero ya era que lo iba a regresar, vi que estaba solo. Ok. Ajá. Ah, lo okay. siento, lo siento, de veras, Giovanni. ¿Pero hizo alguna? Yes, yes. Okay, can you tell us the question? Okay, how many employees does Inexpi have, Jack? Okay, how many employees? Employees does Inex incorporate or incorporated? Uh huh. How? Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. And what could be the answer? An answer is uh, in X Incorporator have 2,000 employees. Okay, great. It's a big company. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Uh, next. Mm -hmm. The next is uh, do you have online sales? Okay. Answer mm -hmm. is uh, yes, yes, we do. Okay. You could say, do you have online service? Or podríamos decir, do you sell online? Okay. Do you sell online? Okay. Or do you have online service? Service. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Yes, we do. Good answer. And good questions. So who's missing here? We were waiting for Daniel and Giovanni. Now let's see, Daniel and Giovanni, please. Your two questions. Okay. I am with Giovanni. What time will they open, Jack? Uh -huh. At eight o'clock. Okay. How can I make a mistake? Who do I call? You can tell the sales department that the number is twenty Okay. Okay, so you were talking about the schedule, right? The schedule, what time do you operate or what time do you start work? What do you say? Start work? Start work, yes. Oh, okay. Okay, now, yes, I got it. Thank you very much, guys. Now let's see Carlos Eduardo, who were you working with? Ana Cristina, yes. Ana Cristina Chavarria. There you are. Okay. Okay. The question, teacher? Okay, the two questions. Yes, only the two questions, two questions. because of the time. Okay. Uh, okay, Ana Cristina. How many brands have the company in the world? Um, they have branches in El Salvador. How many? It's a number, Ana Cristina.
Ask the question again, Carlos Eduardo. How many branches? Okay. How many branches have the company in the world? How has the company? Has, tiene. Yo decía, how many, cuántas? Okay. How many branches, branches does the company ha have? Ah, has the company have. Okay. Does the company have in the world? Does the company have in the world? Mm -hmm. Ana Cristina. Yes, they have branch. They have branch in the El Salvador. Okay, in El Salvador, and then how many? Cuantas? How many? It's a number, Ana Cristina. Un número. Um, four. Okay. Carlos Eduardo, they have four branches in the world. Okay. Ana Cristina, así okay. sería la respuesta. They have three branches in the world. A ver, Anita, Ana Cristina. They have three, they have three branches in the world. Nice. Okay. There you are. Next Second question. Question, okay. Uh, they have branch in the El Salvador. Do they have? Have to. Uh -huh. no. Do they have branch branches in El Salvador? Do they? Ahora sí, Ana Cristina. Yes, they do. Uh huh. <laughs> Ahora sí es la, la, la respuesta anterior. Yes. Ok. <laughs> Se le confundieron el orden. Ay, tito, ahorita. Yeah, that's what I see. <laughs> But don't worry, pongámoslo en orden para que cumplamos ahí el objetivo. Ok. Veamos. Ok. La respuesta, Ana Cristina, sería yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Y ahí ya respondimos que sí tiene en El Salvador. Ok. A representation okay. in El Salvador. Now, Thank let's you. see, we have Daniel Enrique. Daniel Enrique, you don't have your video on. Giovanni Alexander, y estoy viendo que Kevin Daniel está teniendo problemas para ingresar, ¿verdad? Bueno, vamos entonces a tomar la asistencia que correspondía a las nueve de la noche. Permítanme, <risa> hagamos de cuenta y caso que estamos en las nueve de la noche. Ok. Sí, díganme. Sí. sí. <risa> Now, let's see. Muy bien. Eh, miren, eh, yo estoy bastante preocupada. No, no es de preocupación, de preocupación, no. Estoy procurando que nos entendamos y que todos aprendamos, ¿ok? Hay unos que van más adelantaditos, hay otros que vamos un poquito eh, sin contexto, entonces estamos en primera vez ubicándonos, así que tengámonos paciencita unos con otros para poder eh, ponernos al hilo todos juntos. Esa es una de las cosas. Y la otra cosa es que si ustedes tienen alguna opinión, no dejen de decirme la verdad. Alguna opinión acerca de la clase, de algo que les gustaría hacer. ¿Ok? Bien, okay. continuamos con la lista. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodríguez. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Vladimir, Present teacher. Ok, Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present 
Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Iván Ernesto Elías. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Juan Carlos no vino hoy. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Nancy Ivette Tobar Rivera. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Teacher. Ok, Nancy. Uh, Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Juleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present teacher. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Present, Present teacher. Okay. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Salas. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Ábrego. Present teacher. Ok, Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Muy bien, gracias Silvio. Teacher, le falté yo. Daniel Enrique. ¿Quién me faltó? Sí. Ah, <risa> vamos a ver. Yo, Daniel Enrique. Bye. Yo creo Daniel Enrique... Orellana Mejía. Ok. Yes. Check, I checked you in already. Yes, Thank you very much. Ok. Hey, ok. <laughs> Now let's continue. Let us continue. Huh. <clears throat> in our manuals, we have another activity, a different one, but I just want you to see or to check the words in bold. Let me get there. Vamos a ver las palabras que están en negrita en la conversación porque esa es la manera correcta de um, esa es la manera correcta de responder esta pregunta. Cuando nos preguntan, for example, vamos a irnos a la pregunta primero y luego a la negrita. What does y el nombre de la compañía y este verbo do Okay. What does Index Incorporated do? Nos están pidiendo que describamos cuál es el quehacer de la compañía. El quehacer. So, in this case, we need some vocabulary of verbs. How to answer that question. For example, we could say, we manufacture, we produce, we do, we make. We um, specialize, we um, manufacture, and so on. Todos los verbos de acción, ¿verdad? Todos los verbos de acción que describan el que hacer de una compañía son los que podemos utilizar acá. Entonces, vamos a ir a ver algunos para que veamos cómo se contesta. Vamos a ver, solo permítanme ver si de una vez cambia. ¿Sí están viendo las slides ahora? ¿Miran las slides o se quedó siempre en el, en el manual? En el manual. Siempre en el manual. Ok, tengo que salirme de ahí siempre. Entonces, permítanme. Tengo que ir allá. Ok. Nos alargue un poquito de tiempo, pero vamos a hacerlo así. Ahora sí, ¿verdad? Ahora sí. Casi, casi. No, teacher, ahorita sí. Ahorita sí. Bye. Vamos a ver. For example, in a seminar, in a conference, in a meeting, or maybe in a party of our company, we have to interact with people. And this question is a, an icebreaker. An icebreaker 
to a conversation or to a relation with the people in the event. Podemos utilizar estos verbos para contestar. We can use these verbs to answer. Let's see the difference because we can use we, they, or it. When we say we, we are included. I am included in the conversation or in the concept of the doing of my company. Si yo digo we, estoy incluyéndome a mí misma en el quehacer de la compañía. Si yo digo they, no me incluyo, no me incluyo, pero no quiere decir que no soy parte de la compañía. Yo puedo utilizar they incluso para variar dentro del de concepto que yo voy a dar de mi compañía, del quehacer de mi compañía. O puedo decir el nombre de la compañía. For example, yo puedo decir acá en vez de it, puedo decir eh, in next, como estaba ahí, ¿verdad? Inex manufactures, Inex produces, Inex makes, Inex is, ¿verdad? Podemos utilizar cualquiera de los pronombres estos para contestar la pregunta. Ahora, en este que hacer, when we say manufacture, is because they are uh, those who make the product, right? They produce the thing from the beginning, from the raw mat material, and they manufacture, manufacture, okay, manufacture. They are like a factory. They are a factory, son una fábrica, ¿verdad? When they produce, es como que fuera una fábrica o como, por ejemplo, una granja o, por ejemplo, algo que... Eh, el resultado final es un producto, ¿ok? We make podría ser incluso un servicio. We are también un servicio, ¿verdad? O una, eh, lo que hace una fundación, por ejemplo, una organización de ayuda, podríamos decir we are, or they are, it is, porque no hay un producto tangible, ¿verdad? Pero en un producto tangible, we can use, we manufacture, we produce, we make, we are. Ahora, veamos el otro vocabulario que tenemos en este que aprender para poder contestar esa pregunta. For example, we say, what does your company do? What does your company do? Esta es una pregunta genérica. This is a general question. What does your company do? Veamos los productos. We manufacture foodware. Foodware. ¿Qué es eso? What is that? What is foodware? Where? Foodware. Uh -huh. Okay, shoes. Uh -huh. Shoes in different, <laughs> yeah, shoes in different designs and for women, for kids in general. In general, we call this footwear. Este es el industrial, this is the industrial vocabulary that we need to learn. Porque si decimos, we manufacture shoes, nos quedamos un poquito cortos en entender, bueno, y de cuáles, y para quiénes. ¿Y en dónde? ¿Y cómo los hacen? ¿Y de qué material? ¿Sí? But if we say we manufacture footwear, then in our brain we think different, a variety, some of different designs. Okay, then including footwear includes all those uh, kind of shoes. Now, the next one, we produce cookies and pastries. We produce cookies and pastries. What is the product? Cookies and pastries. And the pastries, we could say, do you make cakes, right? Cakes, birthday cakes, wedding cakes. Okay, then we can ask some more questions about this, but that's a good um, description of what they do. What does your company do? We are, ah, ven que aquí estamos con un servicio, miren, 
we are a private bilingual school, bilingual school. We are a private bilingual school. Entonces, vemos que cada verbo expresa algo general, ¿verdad? Algo general, pero al mismo tiempo da la correcta idea. Okay? Now, this is about, this is about the verbs. Ahora, la conjugación. For example, if I say, they manufacture footwear, it's okay. Es lo mismo que dijéramos we, pero we, yo me identifico con la compañía. They, estoy hablando, por ejemplo, que aquella eh, sucursal, that branch, they manufacture footwear. Okay. Now, in this one, let's imagine that we say it. Tenemos que agregarle la S porque es tercera persona, ¿verdad? It produces cookies and pastries. It produces cookies and pastries. Agregamos letra S porque es tercera persona del presente. Entonces, it produces cookies and pastries. Now, next one. We are a private bilingual school. Podría ser they. Yes, it could be they are. Okay. Y podríamos decir incluso it is. Ok. Estamos correctos hasta aquí. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? No, teacher. No questions? Ok. Let's go to the next example. What does Pollo Indio do? What does Pollo Indio do? They it's produce. Avicola Salvadoreña. Yes, it's a brand of Avicola Salvadoreña that produces poultry. Poultry. Poultry is carne de aves, ¿verdad? Poultry. Poultry. Que sería el pollo, ¿eh? Chicken. Chicken is included in poultry. Ese es el vocabulario industrial. Poultry. Pollo Indio is a brand of avícola salvadoreña that produces poultry. Ok, vamos a ver esta otra. What does Samsung do? What does Samsung do? Samsung produce a wide variety of customers, of consumers, uh, industry electronics. Ok. Thank you very Thank much. You. Ahora, fijémonos en esto que es lo más importante que estoy explicando ahorita. Samsung es it. Por eso tenemos que pronunciar correctamente esta produces. Produces. Agregándole la tercera persona, ¿verdad? Produces. No podemos decir produce porque lo estaríamos tomando en un plural. Y Samsung no es plural, aunque sea un conglomerado de compañías, ¿verdad? Samsung is a brand. Samsung is only one company in this uh, concept. Samsung produces a wide variety of consumer and industry electronics, including appliances, digital media devices, semiconductors, memory chips, and integrated systems. Okay, this is the complete thing. This is the complete thing, but we can stay till here. Samsung produces a wide variety of consumer and industry electronics, including, yeah, you saw it. Okay, people, now let's go to see this one. What does Google do? What does Google do?
Google is an American multinational technology company that specializes. Este es otro verbo que no estaba en la listita, pero lo mencioné. Specialize. Specialize. Este describe un quehacer especialista, ¿verdad? That specializes in internet related service and products. Ok. Ahora, vamos a tomar 10 minutitos. Okay. Ya sabemos qué es Headquarters. ¿Tienen una idea? ¿Quién, ¿Quién me quiere definir qué es Headquarters? Headquarters es como la central. Ok. Como, uh, we could say the main offices. Right? Administrative main office. or administrative offices. Main offices. Headquarters. The principal. Ok. The head. Head. Por eso se llama headquarters. Ese es un término como militar, ¿verdad? Bien, proviene de lo militar. En donde es la base, ¿verdad? La base de operaciones. Headquarters. Uh, we are going to take 10, 10 minutes. Y vamos a ir de regreso a los breakout rooms para que ustedes hagan una pequeña conversación de tres preguntitas, tres respuestitas. <laughs> ok. Yeah. Three questions and three answers, similar, como la de Jack y Rick, igual, así, similar. Bien, ahorita los mando para allá y ustedes comienzan a hacerlo. Solamente diez minutos, no más. Are you alone here? Yes. Uh, but it says Giovanni was asking for help. Oh, there he is. Okay. okay. Were you asking for help, Daniel? No, solo por eso. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. But there, it, there he is. Okay, I'm going to leave the room. Okay. Remember, you have to... Create a conversation of three questions and three answers. Okay. Maybe ask okay. Use your own information and just, uh, for example, Carlos Eduardo, if you go from, uh, my name is Carlos, right? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Ana Cristina. I work for, you said this is su compañía, right? Okay. 
You can use that. Ah, okay. It's an idea. It's an idea. Ah, cool. This, uh, <laughs> with Ana <laughs> Cristina, I, I think uh, another question. Uh -huh. Similar on the, on the back example. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Uh, similar? Yes, similar. But okay. not different because we are practicing Pero... the vocabulary. Ah, perfect. Okay. okay. There you are. Como okay. cambiar en el en el Sí, puedes el, sustituirlo. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay, Ana Cristina. Yo sería Si soy Entonces, yo sería Red o ya. Rick uh, is Ana Cristina. Jack is Carlos. Okay. Entonces sería, my name is Ana Cristina. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Carlos. I work for a uh, 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 I'm going to another room, okay? Okay, thank you. Sí. Company. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Hello, Hello teacher. teacher. Hello. How are you doing? We we are we are talking about Coca Cola. Ah, okay. O pueden sustituir dentro de la misma conversación para que se les haga un poquito más fácil. Ok. Ok. Ok, okay. there you are. It's ok. So I'm going to another room. Ok, teacher. Um. 